Both Jody and her daughter Sienna are with me today. We discuss Reiki, de-armoring, Kundalini, healing energy, and her lead into next week's Perth Corporate Rumble. Special thanks to a dash of a more and Pool Excavation Pros, major sponsor of today's fighter, as well as Gobsmack Sports Mouthguards, major sponsor, naming rights sponsor of the PCR, as well as MVP Real Estate, Link Support Solutions, Studio 22, and Counterbalance Fitness, all major sponsors of the Perth Corporate Rumble. So please welcome Jody and Sienna. As long as you're speaking into it. All right, this will be good. Oh, I can see, I can see me getting very frustrated with this. It's the one thing I ask. Sorry. Good mic control. Okay. Jeez, Fifteen-year-olds coming in here. <laughs> Reckon they run the show. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, how old? How old's your son? He's fourteen. Okay. Mm. It's yep. were the were the boys and girls when we were. I'm obviously a couple of years on. Got a couple of years on you, but. Were the kids like this when we were at school? I don't know. I think maybe now I'm old. I You're not that old though. I know, but you know How old I, are you? Happy to say? Thirty eight. So it's only thirties. Yeah, but Plenty I think time. when I was Sienna's age, I was like I, I just thought I was way more mature and now she's fifteen, I'm like, Oh, you're my baby. What could someone have told you at fifteen to get you to listen? <laughs> Nothing. Just, yeah. I mean, I was. I think I was. I wasn't a rebel or anything like that. I was mm. pretty well behaved. Um, but I try to, with with my kids, I try to explain things and like let them have a voice. Mm. Whereas, I you don't rule with an iron fist or anything in the house. No. no, I think like my parents were quite strict, and that was great. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm more. Yeah, I let them talk to me and explain why they've done something wrong for instance and then I have my woo-woo ways um, I have to make them meditate or go and sit on the grass and ground they're like I don't want to ground but yeah how do you feel about all this stuff Sienna? I don't really care (laughs) I like it kind of thanks I do like the microphone there straight down the middle there um I don't know I'm pretty like like mum myself yeah but doesn't bother me that much. Okay. Because you, you, Joe, you're very like a holistic and mm. spiritual. Yeah. Which I think is good. Yeah. There's some people that don't. Some people are still stuck in their old ways thinking that it's all a bit of hippie stuff that doesn't work. Yeah. And that's fine. If that's what works for them, this is what works for me. And what we're doing now, though, mm. isn't working. You can clearly see in society the old medication and and yeah. whatever they're doing is obviously not working no i mean not for everyone not for everyone and i mean i think that there's obviously pros and cons to um to everything but i i just like to for like my personal growth and my mental health i like to take time out i like to um you know really think about energy think about you know what's going on around me even with my kids there's certain things that i would rather them not say hate in my house no, than some say. certain swear words because i feel like hate such a strong there's so much behind it so much venom so isn't much there venom behind it so that's banned and <laughs> i don't know i think some of her friends or, and my harvey's friends will come into my house and be like what like what's going just, on here? yeah but only because i'm strict about random things hey do you call it the H bomb? Don't drop the. You know, there's the F bomb. I don't know. So what don't I drop say. it the H bomb. No, you just don't, like, say, don't I'm, say. I'm hate. like, don't say that. You find a different word. Mm. Okay. Yeah, do, use a different word. But like, there's so many different different words to do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Straight into that, Mike Sienna. Nice. Yeah. Now you're doing a great job. Keep it up, buddy. Okay. But there are. I just think because I just feel like everything is vibration. Like we're we're all connected in the world, um, and yeah, I just don't. If some, like, for example, if somebody says, oh, I hate that person, I'm like, well, what's inside you? Why Why have you got that hate inside you? It's like that other person. It's, you're, only, you're only hurting yourself. Mm. It's like, you know, giving someone poison or drinking the poison and thinking someone else is going to die, that saying. That's um, revenge. So, yeah, yeah, I just think, you, this, yeah, certain things you don't need to do and hates, yeah, one of them. Maybe it's people directing their own 
pain onto someone else and needing to blame someone else, no accountability. Well, exactly. Maybe. Exactly. So that's what your whole business is is centered around, is it? Um. Well, a, a dash of amore. A dash of amore. Yeah. So, amore. Sorry. Yeah, that's okay. Amore means love in Italian, doesn't well, it? Well, they both mean love, but it's. Uh, you have to forgive me because I don't. I can't remember the actual um, terminology, but they both mean love, but a different type of love. Okay. Apparently. When I Googled it. Um, but, yeah, so I, I mean, from the age of six, I knew what I wanted to do as a job. Um, I loved massage. I loved makeup. I loved making people feel good, um, doing people's nails and things. Um, so, yeah, as soon as I left school, I started doing that. And now with my business, it's kind of, when I started my business at home, it was, doing IPL hair removal mm. and then and facials and then I started getting into weight loss so now it's just yeah taken off from that but full holistic thing yeah the beauty industry is booming it is it's always been booming I think so I mean like man, women are gonna spend money on themselves aren't they <laughs> why why do you think that is um why are, why are, this is I'm asking because I don't know why is the the quest for eternal youth? The guys, I know there's a lot of guys that do it, but they seem to guys don't have the same focus on makeup and and getting rid of wrinkles. We just go, oh well, we're old. Yeah, um, I mean, it's probably like media, so and social media now. Um, I mean, they've actually just changed some of the things and how injectable nurses are um, allowed to promote things on social media but I feel like for women we're always like looking what does this person look like what what do I how do I make myself more beautiful maybe on the outside to be you know accepted or or whatever I that's a massive part of it um do you think women are in competition with each other I think yeah I think some some which you know is a shame because we should that is I guess it's what's going on in the inside of them. I mean, healthy competition's fine, isn't yeah. it? It's oh, just, yeah. It's um, just. Do you see the same with men? Yeah, but it's different. It's like, I think, yeah, I think there is competition, but just in a different way, I guess. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Don't know. I never really felt I never, it. Neither did neither have I, really. But yeah. You're going to see some sights in about I am. two weeks. Yeah, law of attraction. <laughs> Have you been to one of these events? I haven't. I really haven't. You are in for a treat. I'm excited. I really see? am. I um, yeah. I'm there was only a handful of tickets left. I know. That is Hopefully. unbelievable. Have you seen the the? I've actually got it here somewhere. Let's have a gander. Here we oh go. God. There's the uh, seating layout now. How many people? Sorry, this is where I'm sitting. That's where I was just telling my mates. Um, how many? I don't I was know. Trying to calculate it. On There's a lot. Well, that's that's there that's is a hundred tables of, of 10, ten, and some tables. I'm pretty sure they put more than ten on it. I yeah. think they can get up to twelve on a table. Yeah. And I think the reason I got this is because I were trying to squeeze in a couple more. Oh my god. That's a big ballroom as well. It is. Hey. And that is. And you know that this is this is why I like this event. Massive ballroom, but you could be on table one, which is down the bottom there, or eight, or ninety-five, or a hundred. You still get a good view. Mm. It's it's very odd. It's yeah. it's flat, but you could you could get one of the back tables and still see everything that's going on. Yeah, it's, it is it is a it is something else. This event. It's good. I've made all my friends and family come in the front row. Didn't give them an option. Really? <laughs> yeah. Get the like, fancy this. food up there. It's. Uh, I was like, "There's no options." <laughs> do you know? Do you know what table numbers or anything? I yet? don't yet. Because you come down. Hopefully, forty-one and forty-two. <laughs> <You can. laughs> if that's the blue corner. <laughs> uh, from memory, this here is the blue corner yep. there, and the so if you come down the race or the red carpet, sorry, yep. you go. Left to go to red, and you go right to go to blue. I, I'm pretty sure they will sit the appropriate yeah. people near the appropriate corners. Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, it's it's a spectacle, and you'll get to go in there. Early. I know I say it, but you get to go in there for yeah. like a like a rehearsal around mm. two o'clock, and that's when I find it the most intimidating is when there's no one in there. Yeah, and that noise you can hear is my cat just at the door. Do you really yeah. Can't. yeah. All right. Do you fight? Like Me? No. Oh, no. what do you do? I com- I commentate. Oh. Yeah. No. So what will you be like over all the see, speakers? See that there. round that red circle? Yeah. That's this it. is my seat here. I got prime seats. I can touch the ring. <laughs> yeah. So I got good seats. But I, for doing it, no, I don't think I'll ever do it. Only because I'm 45 and I've had a bad run of injuries at work. And I think I'm too, I'll be honest, I'm too worried that I'm going to get injured again. And I'm just coming good. And I just need a, I need a good period of no busted knees or back or arms or anything mm. so that's that's all i'm trying to do that makes sense yeah. plus i'm a pussy and i don't want to fight <laughs> I'm literally like that's a big thing so weak and mum's like you should do boxing i'm like i literally if one of my friends like flick me i'm like oh my god but that's why i think you should do it like because um like i'm dyspraxic right so i'm like yeah, what? dyspraxic what's that so it's dyspraxia it's coordination problems Mm. so it's funny because the other day we were sparring and glenn was like oh you know da 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 da." so what would you do if somebody threw a ball in your face and i was like probably stand there like before this i i I mean when i was a kid it was like a lot different Mm. a lot worse um is it the, the, was it just they'll call it maybe uncoordinated or no? Uncoordinated. Ball and skills? as well, like say if, when I was at school writing off a board, it, the, if I was tired, it was worse. But I would see something and then I'd write it down and then I'd like write two words opposite. Okay. Or I would like read and I would like jump bits. So it's like my left and right brain is, I'm also ADHD, which they come together. So it's, yeah, it's. I'm just trying to get my brain working. Have you found that with boxing? Do you know what? I have loved it. I'm. You're so much better than you so were. So much better. I mean, when oh I saw God. you on week one, <laughs> yeah. but I do it every time. Yeah. I should know. I should know not to yeah. judge people. But I'm like, oh man, these guys have got eight nine weeks yeah. to change this. And you guys just go and see mm-hmm. me the other day. Totally different people. Yeah. So smooth. Yeah. Well, I've definitely, composure. um, definitely put everything, like everything I can into it. Um, and I've got my best friend, Bryce, he, not Bryce from camp, Bryce Rulo, he is a pro fighter and he's, well, he's the reason why I'm doing this. Mm. Um, but he's helped me a lot. Um, and I've also been to Erin McGrown- McGowan. Oh my god! Oh, she's good. Yeah. she's a good boxer. Yeah, and Real good. also um, I've been to Big Rig's gym and had some personal training sessions as well. So yeah, everyone's sure. really committed. I've, yeah, I'm. I'm trying. Um, but yeah, with Cinny, I just think, like, even for the com- confidence and whatnot, it's, I just feel so much smoother. And it's only been what. Nine. Seven. Yeah, yeah. I've been doing it a little bit. Like I've been practicing a little bit before that, but um, only like a couple of weeks. Mm. Um, but yeah, I just feel so much smoother in all aspects of my life. You do. You do look mm. a lot better in there. Yeah. I got to say, and I'm not just saying that. Yeah. If you didn't, I just wouldn't. I wouldn't say you look worse. I just wouldn't meant bring it up. Yeah. But I've seen, especially that training, because I've missed the last two weeks because of mm. work and. Other things, but coming down, I was like, geez, you guys really have stepped it up. And the red team are exactly the same. Yeah. Good. It's going to be imagine. close. I, well, I mean, that's what they say all the time. I think they they really put a lot of time and effort into matching us. Mm. Um, I mean, it was a little bit harder, I guess, for the girls because there's six of us. So we all kind of knew. Could have gone there. There was four of you there. I yeah. thought uh, Olivia and Nadia were always going to fight. But yeah. the four of you could have gone any other way. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's I think it's a fair matchup. I think so. Yeah. As well. I do. You, it's you, good. Are you confident? Um not not arrogant. I am you? I'm confident. I'm confident in myself and I've put everything that I possibly can into this and I feel like I've already won um 
just entering it. It's like I've I I'm not just doing this to win the belt. I'm mm. doing it because it anything this year that scares the shit out of me, I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna put everything in it. So I feel like I've already won. Um The result doesn't matter. It doesn't it, That's weird, isn't it? It doesn't. Like and obviously everyone wants to win, right? Mm. But it's not a career ending loss. No. And like I've met some amazing people and even my opponent like she's such a fucking legend um and i'm just yeah i'm just grateful like we've we've all yeah become really good friends so yeah you don't have to dislike your opponent oh no i don't yeah. think i know i know you don't would. but i think a few people thought how am i going to fight this person because i really like him it is it is hard i'm not going to lie and even i was speaking to bryce about it it is hard because you don't want to hit someone in the head. Like, even when I've sparred with a couple of my friends outside, they haven't had, like, headgear on. And I'm like, oh, I just... It's kind of... I don't know. You you just don't really want to hurt anyone. Do you think that's changed a little since being a parent where you've almost taken the role as a protector and now mm. you're doing something that goes against everything that you believe in and you do on a daily basis? Because your job is a lot about healing. It is. Yeah. And here you're going to go and <laughs> to 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 hurt someone. Yeah. It's very odd. And it's like the thing is I even that we can get hurt. It's you're not doing I I'm not doing it to viciously hurt someone. No. It's a it's a sport. It's a game, right? Mm. I'm doing I'm trying to get as many points as I can. If she potentially gets a black eye or I get a black eye or a blood nose that's what happens but it, I'm not you know going to jab her with a knife you know that, I'm not Jeez, I, I don't want to hurt someone like that I don't know if, I don't know if the commission will allow that <laughs> no I don't think they will wrap your hands like Street <laughs> Fighter in glue and, <laughs> and, then, and then in broken glass yeah but you're not going to get hurt any more doing this than you would at say a, a, a rough football game or a rugby game exactly exactly and we've got headgear on. Ah, and they look after you. They do. And Sienna, Sienna was um, like, oh, no, no, what if you get hurt? And I'm like, I'm not going to get hurt. Sienna not- jumping in the ring? Yeah. <laughs> Can imagine. She <laughs> take off her shoe. <laughs> yeah. She pulls out a knife. <laughs> no, that's so bad. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but, yeah, it's good. Okay. Well, the, the good thing is you looked after not just by your coach, but – I mean, Nigel is always going to be keeping an yeah. eye out for you as well, as yeah. well as he's with Kiara. And you got the ref there. And if he sees something he doesn't exactly. like, he's going to go, nah, exactly. I'm not part of this. Exactly. But you're fine. you got all the gear. You guys know what you're doing. Yeah. And it's kind of well, six we minutes. hope to. I think we've been taught very well. Like we've got some really good good people on our team and good coaches, so You got the six million dollar man. Yeah. You? Jesus. I do. I do. <laughs> how how did you feel about, about being selected for the blue team? I sorry wanted to be on his team. Shit, I just going to have it in for you. Now. I know, sorry. I um because my um my friend Bryce um is really good friend well because of the background that they're, they're good friends. Yeah. So I wanted to be with him and obviously well, not obviously, but my name, um, when I was thinking about fight names, um, like my friends and family we were all trying to come up with some names and my my family were like, oh, Million Dollar Baby. And I giggled. That's pretty good. I giggled. That's quite a good name there. Yeah. That's a movie, isn't it? It is a movie. With uh, Hillary Swank. Yeah. That's yeah. one. Yeah. Um, so that's what they were. They were like saying, oh, you should do that because I, I like everything to be bougie. Um, and I was like, oh, no, that's a bit wanky. Um, but then when I was like talking to Glenn, like about entering and whatnot, um, Bryce actually was like, oh, yeah, that's what his name is. And I was like, oh, my God, I have to have that as my name. I, I need him to be my coach because then it makes sense. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's a good nickname. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> with the blue, the matter is asked is with the blue team, we're on the Wikipedia page here, yep. updated. Thank you, everyone. Um, something I did have to update because Nigel, the notorious one, called me about this. PCR 10, I said that the red team won 
nine to six, but they actually won eleven to four. Oh. So I'm sorry that has been corrected there. Yeah. After a conversation with Nige, it's the first thing he brought up. <laughs> Jeez. Of course, the blue team are on a tear. They won last event eleven to two. Mm-hmm. So, red team always comes back. You're going to have they your hands full. The girls are the ones that obviously set the tone for the evening. Yep. So you've got you, you've got Olivia Druitt, and you've got Jade. Yep. Hot Tabasco. I'm an yep. ass guy. Oh, who just gave me the new gobsmack shirt. I you know. See that? I got mine too. These feel way better than they the old do. ones. The yeah. old ones. Oh, I think that one was a bit tight as well. <laughs> I think I'm growing into it. <laughs> Should actually go through, just before we do get into this, we go a while. I want your tips. I want your tips on the fights here. First up, maybe yes, all blue, it, all blue. Yeah, all blue, all blue. Look, fight one, that's going to be very, very, very close. Very close. I think one of my mates even, he, he made the call. Oh, who was it? It was Mongi. You know Mongi? Yeah. He said he reckons we could see the first stoppage uh, in a female yeah. fight here. Uh, I, I can imagine that. It's going to be interesting, that first yeah, one. Really what a way will. to kick off as well. I know. Next I know. up, here we go. Uh, obviously, I'm going to back oh, myself. Million dollar baby, yeah. all day. <laughs> uh, Jade against Ella. Oh, again, I think it's going to be very, very close. I think Jade. Um, I, I she's literally putting blood, sweat, and tears. She is she's, putting in the effort. Yeah, she's working so hard. Bless her. And she's got Dirty Dave Bosniak yeah. in a corner as well. Yeah, he loves to win. That yeah. guy's madness. These first four, so you got the three girl fights, which are female fights, sorry, which are all going to be extremely close, and then straight on to the big boys, Cam and Jordan. Jordan is way quicker than I thought. Yeah, he is. Way quicker. Yeah. And Cam's a big boy, hit yeah. hard. That'll be good. Yep. Ben and Tommy. Tommy's, Tommy impressed me yesterday. Yeah. In the sense of he was doing a couple of things wrong. Took some advice, and then yep. they just told him once, and he goes, "Yep," and he got it. Mm. He is switched on. Yeah. Ben, though, unpredictable Ben. Yeah, that'll be a good fight. Yeah. Paul King, Jai Reed. Oh, definitely Jai. He's working his ass off. I want this to be a draw. I like Ooh, these really? two guys. Yeah, I, know. I like I love, them too much. Both I love of them. everyone, though. That's the thing. It's so hard, but obviously, I'm going to back the blue team. But Jai is working his ass off. He's doing well. He isn't really he? is. Yeah, and you try to encourage him, and he laughs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even when I spar with him, like actually when I spar with most of the boys, like they're very, very good with, with Thibaut. But yeah, Jai, I, when I spar with him, I'm like, like come on, like, hit, like, hit, me, back. Hit, me, hit me back. He's like, oh, it's all right. You had a decent sparring session with uh, Olivia last night. Yeah. Was, I was, was. Yesterday. <laughs> I know. Afterwards, because I've got um, the um, video on my phone. I can remember you going, are you all right? I'm like, yeah, I'm okay. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we went hard. That was surprising, but you kept your composure quite well. Yeah. I think that's the key is composure because yeah. everyone's going to get hit. Yeah. But once you get hit, you got to know what's coming next. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So composure on Olivia was impressive as well. Yeah. I remember the first two few weeks, she didn't like getting hit. She's sparring with her nose piercing. I know. That's what I mean. You I've are taken mine out. You Olivia. I know. I did. We did say. I think she, she's taken it out now. I'm not sure. She should. She should. I know she's going. She doesn't to listen. The fight. She doesn't listen. Yeah, and it's good. Like honestly, I love, I love watching her fight because I can see it when she gets, when she gets mad. I can see it when Switches. she changes, and I'm like, <laughs> so good, so good. Champagne tower. She's organising yeah, as well. Poor Have decisions. Poor decisions, everyone. Yeah, that's what her business is. That's so cool. Yeah, it's so cool. Poor decisions. Good luck with the crown on that one. <laughs> Bo Jackson, Action Jack. Uh, not Bo. No, what's his nickname now? It was the Scrapper. It's Mr. Business. Bo, Mr. Yeah. Business Jackson against Bo Riley. Mm. Bo's coming back. He wants that win. Yeah. He's good. He's, he's been training for a while. Yeah. Jet Mega, quick against Alex. Yep. Alex is very smooth, though. Alex has been training since about... August last year. Oh, really? Yeah, because he was supposed to fight in the last one. Broke, oh, yeah. his, broke his thumb, I think yeah. it was. Yeah. Mm. And you go to the big boys, Chris and Matty Cox. Coxie. Coxie. Good on you, Coxie. Chris yeah. Vitter, though. Big boy. Yeah. Brent against Zach. Oh, this is hard, too. I love them both, mm. but I have to back blue. I have to back blue for That's it all fair. the way. That's fair. Um, but that is really hard because, yeah. Zach Arani and Kevin Castle. Kevin. <gasps> <laughs> You can't. I'm not saying Kevin's going to win. I'm not saying Zach's going to win. You cannot underestimate Zacharani. Yeah. 
I don't know. I think this is going to be good. Zach's got a lot of support. Yeah. Kevin's very confident, though. Mm, he is. Vince against Jared Chamberlain. I think they need security in for this one. Yeah, probably. I think these two boys are going to snap. They're just savage. Like, from here on in, it's savage. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Yes. Vince and Jared. Yeah. That one. I, I, I'm interested in all the fights, but I think that's where things could turn. Because mm. Jared, Jared flicks a switch yeah. and... And I think Jared turns the brain off yeah. and just goes on full attack mode. Yeah. And I know Vince is, is the same. Yeah. I mean that in a good way. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Scotty against Catalana. He's the bulldog, isn't he? Yeah. He's good. Scotty, though, very smooth. Yeah. One of Nigel's boys at PCB. Oh, really? Oh, I didn't know that. That'll be close. Yeah, it will be. Barry Cox. Bazza. <laughs> Big Baz calling out Alex Torres. Yeah. It's a big call. Mm. I still have to get blue. Of course you do. And, and la- last one, Tracy against Hudson. Oh, Hart. definitely Huddy. <laughs> I fucking love him. He's so funny. <laughs> How casual. He's just so funny. Honestly, I just feel like we've, I've got the best team. It's so funny. How much better is it once you split off one of the teams? Nothing against the other team. It, nothing. It's just, I feel like there's just – although, I mean, yeah, it's, it's hard because you kind of – sizing everyone up seeing and you just don't know where you fit mm. and now it's like although i love everyone else I'm keeping you up there so <laughs> yeah, <sorry. You're> um, <laughs> it's just yeah i feel like we've all yeah we've we've got like a tight unit yeah yeah that's when it really gets good yeah is when you do split into the teams mm. and i see how everyone gets better yeah 100 percent. because everyone wants to help um like and even when I'm sparring with the boys, um, they take the time afterwards and will say, "Oh, you know, this was good. Have you tried this?" Da 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 da. And I'm like, "That's it's good." Whereas I didn't think it would be like that. I I just the boxing community is insane. Like it's so good. Um, but even like just with with our team, they everyone just really wants to help. So. I think it comes down to not only the coaches, but the way that uh, Craig has set up that gym mm. as well. Yeah, I think they just won't tolerate any egos or any sort of negativity yeah. in there. Well, you just can't. I don't know. I just don't think you can. No, it's good. Yeah. It's good because obviously the the level of of experience and, mm. and talent is there's a massive variation here, mm. but. I think the fact that they split into teams has been the best thing because the first couple weren't teams. The PCI one and two didn't have teams. Oh, really? Yeah. So only split them off into the in the third one, and mm. that's when I think a lot changed. Mm. So, and the, the good thing is there's no animosity afterwards no. between anyone. No, because we we're, we're just you know I mean maybe some people are going to continue. I don't know. Maybe I will continue boxing after. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe next year PCR. Um, Go back to back. Yeah. Double champ. Maybe one not. over each shoulder. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's just, there's so much, there's so much more to boxing than, or to, to the PCR than just, just winning the belt. It's, you know, the whole journey's like. Are you taking it all in? Yeah. I mean, sometimes I wake up and I'm like, oh my God, what day is it? Like. Where am I today? I can't believe it's, you know, only a few days away now. It's a bit scary. But, yeah, I'm trying to take everything in. I hope you do. Yeah. I think some people just want the day to be here. No. Whether it's Whether it's just they want that feeling of, of nervousness mm. or anxiety to, to go. Yeah. Um, with it, but then they get there and it, it is over so quick mm. in a split second. Yeah. And the whole evening... I mean, it says eight hours or seven and a half hours. It's quick as seven and a half hours of your mm, life. I can imagine. I just, I, I just, I'm always stunned at how quick the mm. night goes. We feel like we just sit down and then we're at fight ten. Yeah, you know, water's happening. We're just warming up. Come on, the commentary desk. Yeah, <laughs> major role commentary. <laughs> no, nah, it's it, it'll be it'll be good. Mm. Have you? I'll jump forward a bit here. After it's finished. There is a there is a come down. That's what I'm always concerned about. Mm. I'm always concerned about you, you people, you yeah. people. How about that sound? <laughs> you people. Have you got something planned possibly for afterwards to help you with the come down? 
Um, I will continue training, I think. Um, What sub do you live in? Aluka. Oh, up the top there. Yeah. Okay, so f- oh, that's a fair track. Yeah. That is a track. Yeah. I don't I know. Like I feel like people who live up north just always drive everywhere anyway. I don't know, because we're far away from everything. Mm. But Luca's nice. Yeah, I love Luca. Mm. Yeah, it's good. So what are you going to – so afterwards, you think you're going to keep training? I will train. I will keep training. Um, I did joke with my friend – I joke, I say that. I did say to one of my friends, like, if I win, I might do one more fight. In the PCR? Maybe. Who knows? UFC. UFC next. UFC. I don't know. I get hyper-focused on everything, so who knows? Maybe I'll take up archery next. I don't know. (laughs) You never know. You never know what's going to happen with me. (laughs) Well, let's get back on to you. We've got to get back on to you here because I'm interested. There's some things I'm very interested in. Tell me, uh, tell me, firstly, tell me about a dash of a more. Is it a more or a more? A more. A dash of a more. Yeah. So I know you you've glossed over what you did there. Yeah. Tell me more. Um, Tell me about the services you provide. So Scarborough Beach Road, Mount Hawthorne. Yeah, thank you. Um, so we do a range of well, we do a lot, um, but I specialise in um, non surgical facelifts. So it's high fu. High fu. High fu. Okay. High intensity focused ultrasound. I've seen that. Yeah. Is that the one that they use on? Um, I, I'm not going to mention the person's name because I haven't got the all clear, but there may have been someone that is in the PCR who uh, had some of that stuff where I think it, it helps with stretched skin. Um, it can do. It can do. Um, it, on the body, it mm. can it can tighten skin. Mm. Um, it can also remove fat. Is that the same thing you use on the face? Yeah, well, we do it everywhere. So face, chins, body. Depends on, on what we're treating and yeah. How are the results? Amazing. Are they permanent or you got to keep going with them? Look, I mean, the fat loss would be permanent, but as we age, then obviously we get less elastin in our skin. So things start sagging. Things sink. Things do. Things go downhill, babe. <laughs> oh yeah, enjoy it while you can. <laughs> this is your future, right here. <laughs> Um, but with skin tightening, I would say it probably lasts up to two years. Okay. Yeah. That's all right. Yeah. It's better than Botox. And better than, um, yeah, better than cosmetic surgery. Yeah, exactly. Have you, can I ask you about cosmetic surgery? Yeah. Have you had any? <laughs> of course. Okay. I'm just asking. I'm I just, have. Um, you don't have to talk about this. No, I, do, I don't mind. Hit um, me. Tell me. I, I'm actually interested. I have had breast surgery. Okay. Um, and I've had a nose job. Have you? <laughs> yeah. My mum thinks I'm absolutely insane getting a nose job and then going to do a boxing. How so. long ago did you get the nose job? Two years ago. What did they do? Um, they would have cut the skin here, mm-hmm. pulled it off, pulled it up. Jesus, yeah. And then, I guess, chiseled away at the bone. You can't tell. I Look, can't tell. Um, honestly, if I showed you a picture of me beforehand, you like I don't look any different. It and it's very hard to see in the photos. It's just a little bit smaller. Okay. Yeah. You happy bit. with it? Um. Okay. I look. I'm. I'm happy. I didn't want it to to, to look too different. I didn't want to not look like me. Yeah. But yeah, would I have? Because some one? of them, some people get them done. It changes their whole face. Yeah, I don't want to look like Michael Jackson. That's well, there's some some female movie star that she got a nose job and then she reckons no one could recognise her. I don't know. One in Dirty Dancing. Pretty sure that Maybe. happened to her. Pretty sure. Didn't. Better look one that of up. The Kardashians' nose just cave in from nose surgery. I think that could have been things going up the oh, nose. <laughs> was it an April Fool? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. Who knows? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, the girl from Dirty Dancing, I'm pretty sure that happened. To her. Anyway, mm. if it doesn't, I'll cut it out so I don't sound silly. <laughs> Is, I ask you, what is it like for a female? Only because every once in a while, it's pretty rare. Uh, especially in PCR, but uh, uh, sometimes there's a, what they call a low blow. Mm-hmm. Um, how would it go for a female who's had cosmetic surgery getting hit in the chest? Is there any concerns there? I'm not really concerned. No? No. Does it hurt? I don't think it would hurt more than like you getting hit. Okay. 
It's not. Yeah. I hope that's not a weird question. I'm no, just it's always not. curious. No, I, ju- I just don't think. I'm. I'm pretty sure that we have to have a chest. Oh, like you, you know, do. you have to have the like the box. Yeah. What's it called? Is it a box? No, no, a I cup? Guess, I don't know. I think that's what they wear. Who knows? Somebody got hit in the balls the other day. I was yeah. like, oh shit. Someone um, did throw one at PCR and got away with it. I can't remember oh, who really? that was. Yeah. Ouch. It might have been Tracy. I don't know. Someone did. <laughs> Someone did. So I, I thought, hope that wasn't weird. No, I don't, that. I don't mind. I don't, there's nothing. I just, I don't know how to answer it. And your lips. Yeah, I've had my lips done. Not for a while. When you say you've had them done, what's that mean? I've had like um, collagen put in there. Is that Filler like a filler? There. Yeah. I'm not up to date with what there are, yeah. all these terms are. Right. Uh, Juvederm or something, maybe. Okay. But yeah, I haven't had that done in like two years. Okay. I don't. Do you use that? What's that? Um, the like the high energy. What did you call it before? High food. High food. Yeah. Do you use that on yourself? Yeah. On your face? Yeah. Is it dangerous? If it's done wrong, yeah, yes. like anything. So, yeah. So there's certain parts of, uh, like for example, you've got. Um, some nerves and veins that go down here. Yeah. Certain filters I wouldn't go over there because it probably could paralyze your face. Really? Yeah. So it goes pretty deep. So you have to be qu- obviously you have to have some kind of like, some kind just so, a little qualification. Yeah, yeah. No, no that's some <laughs> kind of qualification. But you can imagine someone ordering one of these machines off eBay and yeah. say, "Come over here, we're going to make you look a million dollars." Yeah. You get any just, of that? Do you do any repair work? Yeah. Yeah, we do. Really? As in, yeah. like, someone's had it done that didn't go well, and then you come in. Um, well, maybe not more for high food, but I've had clients that have gone to other salons or clinics and haven't been happy with the results, or they've been promised something and haven't. Yeah. And haven't once I've had a taste of your services, that's they it. They do keep. They're going hooked. Back. They they are well. They yeah, they are hooked. <laughs> Definitely hooked. <laughs> so, how busy are you? Very busy. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you, you go. Is it seasonal? Like, do you come coming into summer? People want to get that summer bod going. One hundred percent, because we do a lot of body sculpting as well. Um, so we were packed at Christmas mm-hmm. with everyone wanting their Christmas body. Um, school holidays, it's always quiet. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's mums have got to look after their kids, right? Yeah. Um, but I think about this all the time. Like, I don't know how people have the time to get all the treatments done in the day. Because I'm, I feel like I'm so busy, but we're we're so busy at sa- in the salon. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, where are all these people? Like, where what are they doing for work? And I don't know. Yeah. So you go to the shop some days and it's packed. It's, yeah. Does anyone have a job? I know. I don't know. What's going on? Feet finder. Oh. <laughs> Feet finder. Tell me the story here. <laughs> no, there's no story. But who knows? Who knows what they're doing? There's no story. <laughs> there's, no, there's, no, there's no story. No story. No. You also do de armoring. Is that how you de-armoring. say? De armoring. De armoring. Yeah. So, jeez. The, Sorry. The holistic side is like. I mean, I'm passionate about it all, but Reiki, um, de armoring, um, and Kundalini. It's more spiritual. Mm. So, de armoring is. I watched a video on de-armoring. Did you? I did. What did you think? I'm, I'll be honest. I'm one of these people that you yeah, fall into two categories with me. Mm-hmm. You are, I'm either happy, like I'm either, I can't, I can't have someone touch me. Yeah. Like I just go, nah, I can't do it. Or I'm the opposite side where like my mates will maul me and I'm perfectly mm. comfortable with that. So I, I have no middle section. I found it a little bit. I, I found myself getting tense watching it. Yeah, because maybe it's just a video I watched. Mm. But someone was getting a bit too close. I, yeah. I would find it, and I, I, I don't know. Just maybe that's just me. That's fine. You'd have to trust the person. Oh, hundred percent. Okay. And you have to. You definitely have to know what you're doing you have to be like i have to really be in my masculine energy yeah. when i'm treating someone else because you're taking someone through a process mm-hmm. um and you can't take on their you know their emotions i can't if if i'm doing something and somebody starts having going through a process and starts crying for instance i can't for instance say are you okay because then subconsciously they might think 
that that's not okay. I got you. Does that make sense? So you got to just keep so going. So I just have to, yeah, let them do their thing, move the energy, and then afterwards we speak about um, what happened. Yeah. How do you not take on their pain? It's very hard, actually. I was talking to a dentist once, and he was saying that it was very stressful because no one likes going to the dentist. No. But he could almost feel himself absorbing the anxiety from the person. 100%. And he just, he, he did find it a little hard at times. Yeah. And I feel like I'm, because I feel energy, sin is the same, like we feel energy so much. I can walk into a room and be like, oh, what's what's happened how is the energy in this in this room? room yeah it's good energy is it yeah good things happen in here yeah we have a good time in here it would be good everyone's always happy oh yeah talking about smack talking about their lives yeah people everyone's are happy good. when they talk about themselves right <laughs> yeah we have a good laugh in here there's no pressure as a exactly. thing exactly if you did scan around this room no one ever sees everything else in this room yeah but there's crap up there <laughs> there's a chicken that my wife crocheted down there there's the MTV guy that's good. Anyway, keep going. Sorry. Um, so, yeah, like even – well, I started – and I was a Reiki master. That's completely different because when, when I do Reiki, I have to feel like the other person. Do you touch them? Um, or do you just sort of hover I over them? Yeah, I usually – I sometimes I touch them. Like when I'm starting something, I might touch them on the shoulder or whatnot. But I just move energy over them. Um, but – like I sometimes get pains in certain parts of my body and I'm in my head trying to think, is this me or is it them? And nine times out of ten, if I ask, it will be their pain or they'll have something yeah, going on. Why do you think that this kind of treatment, which I'm fully supportive of, I'm open to anything, mm. why do you think it's viewed the way it is? Um, Emotional immaturity, like... Not maybe not knowing it's like I mean, it can look quite scary, right? I mean, I've got some um things on like some videos of me doing Kundalini on my Instagram. Kundalini, can you tell me what that is? It's not what I think it is, but what is it? <laughs> so, Reiki is where you've got your shark. Well, Reiki is filling up energy from like your chakras in different parts of your body. Mm -hmm. Kundalini is masculine and feminine energy that spirals. So it like coils up kind of like the back of your spine up where your pineal gland is mm -hmm. and and on. So when I'm moving kundalini energy, my body will like you go into a kundalini wave, you like quiver. Um, I did see the video. Is that where you were laying on your back? Yeah. I did say that. So it looks weird, right? Some, some Like my mum and so dad watched possessed. it and they were like, why? Like, oh, yeah, okay. Not really sure about it. They're happy for me. Um, but yeah, there's definitely a few people that have been like, that's weird, but that's fine. If that, if people think it's weird, that's fine. If people want to know what it is, I'll explain. I don't want to push it on anyone because I just don't think that's appropriate. No. Um, but when, um, when you're moving their energy through you, I will like feel a block. And when I feel the block, I will concentrate on moving the energy so sometimes it's pain or frustration and then you want to turn it into like pleasure so you want to you obviously want to always be at bliss right you want to be yeah but i found actually <laughs> the other day i had a really shit day a really really shit day and i almost didn't go to camp i was like no this is i just couldn't stop crying <laughs> all day i just couldn't stop crying and i was like oh, yeah this is it just put me in the bed Anyway, I got home and I was like, no, I'm, I'm going to meditate and I'm going to go to gym. Mm. And when I got to camp, it was like almost at the end and we were going at the box and then all of a sudden I felt the rush of energy go through me and it like hit the back of like between my eyes and I was like, that's it. And I just went savage. So I like turned the sadness into energy and... Use it for my advantage. So yeah, it's cool. It is. Yeah. Do you think that? Do you find that uh, with, I guess, emotions that certain people, whether in male or female or ages, have different blockages, different um, amounts of yeah. it? Yeah. I mean, a hundred percent. I, the way 
like I see any pain in my body as dis-ease. So it's like something's going on. What's the universe telling you? Um, Okay, you might stub your toe. And somebody might say, well, I've just stubbed my toe. Hmm. But it's like, well, what's the, what's your spirit? What's the high, your higher self telling you? And then I have a book. Um, it's called um, Your Body is the Barometer of Your Soul. And if you look it up, it will tell you what's going on. And nine times out of ten, it's exactly that. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, I think people do have different things going on but it's if you look deep down at what what the what the message is behind it then you can move it does that make sense it does it does um i was speaking to a physio Mm. a while ago and he was just explaining to me how the state of someone's mind like whether they're upset or stressed Mm. has a big effect on how quick they can heal 100 percent yeah. So, I just but it, it can it can be like a like a, a vicious circle, like a spiral, for example. Like if you got a sore back, mm. not saying anyone in here has a sore back, <laughs> not anyone this <laughs> not side of the today. desk. <laughs> oh yeah, it is sore today. Um, but if you get frustrated because mm. you got a sore back, and because you're frustrated, your back get hurts mm. more, and because your back hurts more, you become more frustrated, mm-hmm. and it's just a vicious spiral. Mm-hmm. So. Is that, is that sort of what this stuff clears? Well, well, yeah. So you want to be like, you want to be living life like with no pain. You just want to flow through life, mm. right? And yeah, be enlightened. So yeah, it just clears emotional blocks. Um, it brings in pleasure. It, it can, Kundalini can be actually very addictive because you get such a high from it that you can kind of, you just want to do it all the time. And that's as, as well not healthy. Um, you have to live life you, and find other tools. Mm. You know, it's like if you go for a run all the time, that you're only going to feel the energy from that one thing. It's like you have to incorporate other things like meditation or, you know, I don't know, um, I do Reiki or having a bath or, you know, eating good food. Like all of those things are going to make you feel good and Mm. be at dis-ease, you know, like, yeah. Do you think... At ease, not dis-ease. Do you think people are almost scared of what some of these sessions may bring out? Because it's easier to just, it's easier just to push that pain down. It is, it totally is. Um, Maybe, yeah, scared or just don't know, yeah. It's just, some people can just think it's weird. Um, but yeah, some people, it's, your body wants to hold on to trauma, right? Why is that? It's easier to be negatively charged, I guess. It's to, going to the gym all the time, it's it's hard, hmm. right? So you have to constantly heal and work on yourself and yeah, I don't know why. I was reading about the hips. Do you have a lot of like people with with pain centered around their hips um well yeah that's didn't they call it the the not the dumping ground for all emotion or something i did write it down there somewhere yeah i read it yeah so how do you find that like is it more in males more in females i just um everyone's everyone really it's usually if we're in fight or flight the junk drawer of the body they call it there we go yeah um in your psoas muscle that's where if you're in fight or flight or anxious, your body seizes up mm. and that's the first place it will go. Um, and that's where, like, the base, like, your, your base chakra with Kundalini, that's where you start it. So if you can relax that bit, you can be at flow. Yeah. Do, do people, if they're if they're doing something like de-armouring, do people resist it? Yeah. Um, yeah. Is it because they don't want to maybe show emotion in front of you? Um, I think if if people are coming into a session, they know, um, you know, that they want to release and they want to grow. Um, but there's, you know, there there can be resistance. Yeah, there can be, because for so many different so many different reasons. But it's hard. Like your body wants to latch onto it and. Mm. Um, as well, 
it can be scary because it can trigger something. Like I've been in um, a session and I had my temporalis <coughs> uh, worked on and I just went, because you have to use your breath as well. Mm. So you, you I did see in. some of those breathing exercises yeah. you do down the beach. Yes, you do. Okay. Um, but when I was having my temple done, you have to get the 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 energy out of you so either movement sound um yeah or what whatever so I, I got my temple worked on and then I screamed and something came out I said something and I was like what like that's just I don't even know what I said but afterwards like my um I wrote it down and I thought back and a memory came up so then I knew that I had to like go and work on that process okay so, yeah yeah, it's very interesting. Different way of healing. Mm. Maybe I should try some of that. Maybe I'll come and see you one Maybe. day. Give her some of this trauma. <laughs> this PCR causes me. Yeah. Okay. Next, because oh, I've always been uh, interested in the reasons behind it, but uh, you've got quite a few tattoos. I do. Yeah, so you got your arm. I do. That's a full sleeve. Yep. What, what kind of, like what point of your life did you get those? Um, I, I've always had like small tattoos. Why did you get them? Oh, well, I was young and wanted to rebel. Okay. I didn't actually really want to rebel. I just was young and I was like, oh, it's cool. My friends have got them. I'm going to get one. That's fair. So, um, most of them I've had removed. Oh, really? Yeah. So you're in the process or you've, I've when had, you, have you got, can you see any where you've had them removed? Um. No. Um, you don't have to show yeah. me or anything. You, yeah, I'll leave that one. I, well, I had one on my finger. I oh, like a removed. wedding band or yeah. something. Yeah, I had that one removed. Okay, can't even tell. No, can't. Some, some you can tell. I think some. I mean, it depends on where you go to get it done um, as and well. And skin color, I guess, yeah. as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, how come you got the full sleeve done? Um, it was definitely a phase of my life. I had um, tattoos all on the inside that I was removing. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, I'm just going to get a full sleeve. And I, I do like it. I think... It looks good. Don't yeah, get me wrong. I do. I definitely... Sometimes I think, oh, maybe I should have nothing. And clear skin. But I do love it. Do what you want. To your exactly. body. Who, who can tell? Who has more right to tell you what to do with your body than you? Exactly. No one. Not me. Exactly. The reason I ask is because I do understand that not everyone, and I have nothing against tattoos, I don't have any, but mm. a lot of people will get them during a time of pain or indifference. Yeah. I, um, I definitely should have coloured colored my hair rather than getting tattooed. <laughs> um, when I went through a divorce, that's probably when I started okay. to get them. Yeah. Wonder why. I don't know. Because it's very it common. Thing. It is like cut your hair, colour your hair or get a tattoo. Maybe it's a distraction. Probably. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I mean, some people just love tattoos and I do just love tattoos, but I think maybe because not that um, I don't think um, your dad would have said that I wasn't allowed a sleeve, but. It was like, yes, I'm on my. I can do whatever I want now. Oh, the you, freedom! I mean? Yeah, the rebellion. Maybe, maybe, but not that. I don't think he would have said mm-hmm. no. He's got his like back, back done, and sleeves done. Yeah, but he but, got. Oh, he, he had something on his back, and then he got it covered up. I'd, oh yeah, the, the, when he was a kid. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Not a kid, but yeah. No, I'm always interested yeah. in in what is going on at the time when uh, some people do it through travel. They want to re- mm. like it can be a good thing. Memories. You know, people will go. This will remind me of the time I was. Yeah. On a Contiki tour or something. Okay. And so, you know, um, I got this one for Cindy. What's that say? Love it says yours. "Love Yours." It's a song by J Cole. The song by J. Cole. <laughs> oh, so quick on that, Jody. <laughs> song by J. Cole. I'm not sure who that is. Oh. If uh, no, I'm sure. Okay, give me. Just play, play me. Right. Play me a hit. But it's a it's a really really good song, and um, the lyrics are really right. good. YouTube are going to destroy you with copyright here. No, it's all right. I'll deal with it later. <laughs> it's like. 
Sing it. Explain it. No, I said sing it. It's like sing it. We need a karaoke session here. Go on. No, we've had a couple already. Um. Well, it's just like love yours. So basically, he says that there's nothing. uh, There's no such thing in this life that's what's better than yours. So you might have a massive house, Mm. like the, the biggest mansion. But if you have no one in that that loves you, what's the point? Mm. Or there might be someone that's prettier than you, but if you don't love you, you know, it's and it's, it talks about family and everything like that. So it, it just comes back to appreciate what you have. And yeah, so I love it. Nice. I think that's probably my favourite. Is that going to be your walkout song? No. What's your walkout song going to be? Oh, I'm almost going to change it. Come on. Well, just what have you got for now? I'll get something up here. I nice? have got Little Kim Black Friday. So this is so this is what this is what gets you pumped, is it, Jodie? I mean, I definitely listen to it on the way to boxing to imagine myself coming out. Are you going to de- uh, deprive yourself of it for a couple of weeks? Oh, Should I do. Like, Should do. I almost. Um, I almost wanted to change it. What are you going to change it to? Milkshakes by Kellos? Yeah, probably. <laughs> are you allowed to tell like, other people you can, your walkout song? Oh, I hope someone comes out to milkshakes. That would be so good. Maybe my son was like, come out to bonkers. <laughs> oh, don't come out to bonkers, jeez. Okay. Let's go, sorry. It's a bit aggressive. Shut the fuck up. Family friendly. Yeah, it is. Who the fuck wants war? FedEx leaves straight through your front door. It'll be a murder scene. Okay. <laughs> I've heard enough. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That uh, that'll definitely get you pumped. Yeah. That's uh that's a yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm sure people use that kind of the people put that kind of song, that kind of language in there. That shouldn't yeah. be a drama. Yeah. Do you reckon your crowd, your 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 posse, your crew are going to be going nuts as you walk out? Yeah, I can imagine. I think so. They're they're pretty wild from fight one. Yeah, it's not like they got to take long to get a couple of drinks in them. Oh no, people are pretty wild. I think everyone's like the tickets are pretty expensive. So everyone's like everyone's getting into yeah. that. So we're getting our money's worth today. <laughs> Do you have to like pay for food or is it like it's right? including? It's food. all in there. It's delightful. They get the fancy meals as well. Yeah. I think it's a three-course meal. I don't think I get a meal. But no, I get snacks. Do you? Oh, yeah. The back room's I'm full of it. Yeah. Everyone else is. You'll be fine. <laughs> we, don't, we didn't get fed one time. Oh, really? The re- yeah. Oh, I got to about midnight. I was starving. Oh, my God. I know. I had to go get Maccas on the way out. That's, oh, it's garbage. Oh, yeah. I know. Major sponsor, Maccas. <laughs> yeah. What else do we got here? So did you know Glenn or Nigel or Craig or Chris Bryant, any of this? No. No? No, no. Just... First time? Yeah. Did you hear about them? Did you yeah. hear the... Yeah, I, I've heard about PCR. I've had um, friends previously um, who have entered. Who's that? Um, I've Giovanna. Giovanna, yeah. CV. <laughs> I love her. Oh, my God. She's a little weapon. That... She's I so still funny. remember that fight. Yeah. I thought... I can say it now. I thought this girl, I still remember. And I just went, I said to the boys, I said, I don't think I've seen this girl at training. No. I don't know how she's going to go. Yeah. I think she's going to have her hands full. Yeah, she said that. And she came out and she's threw punches mm. nonstop for three rounds. Crazy. Just didn't stop like yeah. a machine. And then took the belt, said, thanks, everyone. And then I didn't see her again. Yeah. That's, she's just, that's just what she's like. Like honestly, for someone like she's so petite and pretty and like like a little doll, but you tell her, oh okay, right, we're going to go deep sea fishing, catch the biggest fish. She'll do surfing, like whatever it is. Like she's just fearless, yeah. that girl, isn't she's just she? Anything. She's a nice girl as well. Is her last name really CV? I said, what's I your last know. name? She I don't think CV. she says. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I do. I don't know. You do know. You don't want to tell. No, me. I do. Fine. No, That's I just fine. something came in my head, but I, I, I um. All right, we'll just, leave that yeah. one there. <laughs> so, you, anyone else? Joanna? Um, and do, 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 who else did it? Um, Tyler Wood did it. Did he? That was a while yeah, ago, yeah. wasn't it? A while ago. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So yeah. 
that's it really i mean like i kind of see everyone on instagram as well yeah but, doing it yeah okay mm. were you happy you got selected there's a lot of applicants. I, it, do you know what? It, it, it's funny. Tell me. I was Tell me with, funny. Um, I was with Bryce. We were watching the UFC, and I was like, oh, I've like I've always wanted to do something like this. Like I, I like you know I, I, be, um, because I've been so unco for like forever. My brother's like the best in the world at trampolining when he was my, like a kid. Mm. Um, my brother, other brother, was an athlete, like really really fast runner. And I just was me. <laughs> nothing wrong with so, that. Nothing wrong with that. But mm. I was like, meh, yeah, sports is just aren't really my thing. Um, but I would watch boxing. I'd be like, yeah, I really want to like do that. Or UFC and just like love it because it's so savage. Um, That's how many applications there were. Oh, my God. Yeah. So there were a lot. Yeah. And yeah. How, many, how many people got selected? 30. I think 30 or well, 32. Okay. And I yeah. think someone pulled out and someone got injured. Yeah. So down to 30. 15, first time as a 15 fighter. 15 fights. Yeah. That's a lot of people. That is, like, it's going to be tight. It's going to be, everyone's going to be working their asses off. Yeah. Behind the scenes. Like, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be interesting. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. Um, info about you. So it's your sponsors. We should have actually gone with the sponsors. So you're sponsoring yourself. I am. Yep. As well as? as? As well as my friends Mike and Jenny, um, the Excavation... Oh, my God. Cut that bit out. Um, excavation Pros. So they basically um, dig pools, yep. pop pools in. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, my legends. Do you remember there. the drum we went through, me trying to get their logo oh my off God. you? Yeah. You sent me some postage stamp size <laughs> logo and I said, I can't work with this thing. I know. And I said to Jenny, I was like, oh, can I have this? And she's like, oh, my God, I know how to do this. I've just sent you what they sent me. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got it working. Yeah. Somehow we got it working. Yeah. So why did you apply? Why? Um, why? Why did you Well, apply? yeah, so I was at um, UFC with Bryce and I said that I wanted to do something. He goes, oh, why didn't you enter PCR? And I was like, oh, yeah, I've always wanted to do something. Yeah. And next minute he's like, oh, yeah, I've entered you. Like we're sat there. Mm-hmm. And I've got, I'm getting emails. I'm like, oh, my God. Okay. You're in. And then, yeah. Yeah. Unbelievable. Mm. There was probably, oh, just off the top of my head, I think there was about 30 females. Yeah. There's quite a, quite a few this time around, yeah. which I was surprised with. Mm. But they have to do everything. But they almost have got to match you up from the start. Well, yeah. With virtually no knowledge of you guys. Yeah. And that's what one of my biggest things was because I am on the lighter side. And I was like, God, what if they don't find someone my way? And that's what I really struggled with that. Because um, I thought, oh, my God, I really, really want this. Um so yeah but Kiara is about the same weight as you yeah I think we're maybe a kilo or so I think you could be within three or yeah. something they just do a catch weight there yeah yeah and you said before this is your first PCR event yeah what are you expecting because the videos don't do justice I'm expecting to blink and it be gone yeah. um, have you been to the ballroom itself even like now I have walked past quite a few times but no I haven't been to an event in there no okay no and you've seen all the cardboard cutouts and everything you got out the front? I have seen videos and stuff like that, yeah. Yeah, it's I'm something excited else. for that. Hey? Have you seen your one? Not yet, no. I'm excited. Have you got a photo? Do I get to take it home? So, yeah. <laughs> get someone to grab it. Oh get someone to grab it about fight 13, fight 14. Yeah. And just get it out of there. You do not want it sitting there no. at fight 15. Two so staying at the Crown? I am. How many nights? Two nights. Friday, um, Saturday? Or yeah, Saturday. Friday, Saturday. Because to be honest, I have completely hijacked one of my best friend's birthdays. I am I feel really bad. When's their birthday? The day of the fight. <clears throat> oh, no, sorry, the day after the fight. What day's the fight? Saturday. No, so 20, sorry, the 21st is um, Megan's birthday. So she'd like... She Classic like, oh, Megan. You know. She was like, oh, we're going to come... And we're, we're going to go, well, I don't know why I'm putting on a voice because she doesn't talk like that at all. <laughs> but she's like, oh, yeah, oh, I'm going to come home. We're going to go to the Crown and, you know, we're going to go to Mo- Nobu and whatnot. And then I was like, yes, yeah, sweet. And then I've just booked in or, you know, entered into PCR. And then I was telling her about it. And she goes, oh, that's the, the weekend of my birthday. And I'm like, Oh geez! Fuck. So her birthday was and, booked in first, and well, and I knew, and I knew, but I just didn't think about it because mm. I just, you know, you just 
go away and you just do life. And, hmm. and so, the anyway. champ does what she wants, doesn't she? Well, no, I do. I do feel bad, but it's a, it's going to be a really good night, and hmm. at least I'm only fight two, so she's pretty happy that she's. I'm um, going to get to dress up. I'm going to have a nice dinner. I'm staying there. So Is she coming to the... Yeah, she's oh, coming. Okay. Yeah. It, so, it, the, it's a it's a world-class meal as well. They yeah, exactly. Is she into food? Yeah. Oh, she'll And that's why. Because she, she lives in Tom Price. So she's like, all I want to do is have really nice food. Hmm. Um, which is obviously everyone does. But, um, yeah. I think having the Friday night there as opposed to the Sunday oh. is the key. I know a lot of people, think? yeah, a lot yeah. of people are doing Friday, uh, sorry, Saturday, Sunday, mm. where I think Friday, Saturday is better. Okay. Because from memory, you've got rehearsals at about two yep. where they walk you through it. They play your music. You do the full workout. CJ's mm. in the ring announcing you. Yeah. Everyone's getting pumped. Yeah. Uh, and then you check in and then there's, I, I've stayed there once and I virtually, I reckon I had about half hour free time because mm. by the time you have the rehearsal, check in, up to your room, get ready. By now it's like four o'clock. Yeah. And I've got to get down there by about 5.30, check mm-hmm. all the stuff. Are you staying? No. No, I've got to work Sunday morning at 8 a.m. Oh. I don't no drink. I don't drink. No, yeah. I don't drink. I don't know if I'm going to, I will have one or two, but I haven't drunk since. You'll get into it. You'll get a couple under your belt yeah. and Party Joe will come out. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Someone will throw on a bit of Nicki Minaj or whatever the hell that song was. And look out. Little Kim. Start throwing. Little Kim. Yeah, it was a little, Kim. Yeah. little Kim, what did I say? N- Nicki, Nicki Minaj. Minaj. Okay. But yeah. the same. They're but all the same. Yeah. <laughs> They're all the same yeah, people. Yeah, who knows? Yeah, I think after a couple. Every, you got to you got to reward yourself. I will definitely reward myself. I just don't want to feel like shit. The next day. Yeah. Yeah, go on. Yeah. You'll be fine. We'll You'll be fine. If you guys Next get the minute, win. I'll be like, woo! <laughs> <laughs> Security, get yeah. this girl out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's been a full commitment to this campaign? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Off the alcohol? Um, I have had um, two drinks. I had my friend's birthday and one of my really good friend's weddings. So yeah. I've had a glass of champs then. I have been probably eaten consecutively two kilos of chocolate or more a week <laughs> it's energy that's all it is it's, it's energy bad. it's so bad i don't know how i haven't got acne to be honest what type of chocolate english good is that the dark chocolate galaxy Not galaxy galaxy oh jesus yeah that's i'll have to good. get you some I good. just got back from the UK and I, I did, did a fair bit of that. Are you from the UK? Yeah. Whereabouts? I should have asked this at the start. Um, Bournemouth. Bournemouth. Oh, yeah. that's all right. I thought you were going to say Birmingham there. Oh, no. And I was just about. To laugh. <laughs> no, I'm from the posh part. That is. Mm, you're from the country. Yeah. Oh, that's, that is the posh part. Mm. Nice. Yeah. It's a nice bit of land, a little hobby farm or something out there. or. Yeah, no, we never had a hobby okay. farm. Okay. That's real posh. I don't know. It's like farmers. Yeah. They drive their tractor. <laughs> <laughs> they combine harvesters. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. Nice. Let's not get into the UK. That, that <laughs> is another conversation altogether. Mental changes you've had, obviously very spiritual, mm. and you understand the importance of, of being in the right frame of mind mm. to do this. Have you found it have you found it more challenging to stay focused? Because you're managing um your full time job, mm-hmm. the boxing, mm-hmm. obviously a handful sitting next to you. And <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. But you imagine right. kids, workplace, mm-hmm. and this as well, mm-hmm. and coming from a Luca. Yeah. That is a lot. Mm. Yeah. How are you finding it? You holding it together all right? Most of the time. I just, I'm not going to lie, I have a couple of mental breakdowns. I'm like, just sob. I, what is <laughs> The bin. <laughs> I had a meltdown the other day because the bin fell over and. Bin juice touched me. I'm like, <laughs> oh, bin juice. No one likes bin juice. Oh my god. That was so, so nice. yeah. So Gross. it's most of the time it's been really good. But Sienna and Harvey have been absolute legends. They've um, really, really helped um, pick up the slack. Um, if I ask them to do something, they've been helping me at home. Um, work's been good. I've limited my hours. Um, I'm trying to like do less hours in the salon so I can manage everything around me mm. um yeah so that's been good but it's it's i don't like the 
endorphins you get from boxing, it's just, yeah, it's unbelievable. It's like there's nothing like it. Um, it's waking up and, like, I feel like I have had 10 rounds with a brick wall and I'm like, I, do I have muscles in these parts of my fingers? Everything hurts. And I'm like, oh, I feel like I've been run over. And then I'm like, no, get up, hot shower, have some magnesium, have your breakfast, and then go again. Um, and by the time you start training, your body stops hurting anyway. It's just mm. that waking up and going, oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's good. It's but, a yeah. lot of – having support at home, I think, is very important as well. 100%. Because it is commitment. Yeah. It's a big sacrifice for the family and friends as well. Yeah, I mean, definitely a lot of my friends, um, you know, they've invited me out and and I've just been like, oh, no, I'm in camp. I'm not going to go. Um, but, yeah, has it been a sacrifice for you? Not really. No? I just like, yeah, I have to get up. My own way to school, like nanny and granddad have to yeah. go to school. So my, my parents have helped out um, taking me to school when I've trained at Big Rick's gym. Yep. Um, so they've that's been amazing. Um, I don't know, Sienna probably hates it when I use the punch bag outside of your bedroom. So annoying. <laughs> it's like right out, f- out the front of my bedroom as well and it's like so loud. I put in my AirPods and I can still hear it. And she's like grunting. And I'm like, oh my God. Grunting. Do you ever think about getting out there holding some pads or something for mum? Um, probably like use her as a punching bag. <laughs> no. I don't know. No, she climbed on it once. And then it fell off. <laughs> Fell off the wall. I spun it around. No, it's got like a base and then it like hooks up. Yeah. It's like the bag. And I was just spinning it around and then it just went boom and it just fell off. I'm but not sure it's meant to be spun there. Uh, yeah. That's my brother actually broke his leg doing that. So. Wow. When it was, yeah. Jeez. Yeah. Right. What, speaking of like when you said that your parents are uh, helping out here, mm. what is everyone saying about you fighting? Um. Well... Mum and dad? Mom, they, they just like, I don't know. If you know me, you know that you just never know what's going to come. It's. I've like, learned that already like, oh. in six short weeks. <laughs> I don't know what Jody I'm going to get today. Yeah, you, yeah. you just don't, don't know. Um, my mum and dad are like, oh, yeah, okay, right, eh? What, I just, you, you're mad. My mum's like, you're mad. You're just mad. My, I think my dad is a little bit more into, like, because my granddad, his dad, was really into boxing. Mm. Um, so he's a bit more like, oh, yeah, okay. Um, don't think they want to watch me. No. No, my mum definitely doesn't. My dad's a bit like, mm, not really. But they're obviously in Perth, obviously. Cause At the moment Perth, they yeah. are. They're from England. They're only here for another four weeks. Okay. Um, and then they're going to emigrate. But um, my brother is totally into it. So my, my brother's done amateur boxing. In England. Okay. So, yeah, he's... He's right into it. Yeah, he's really into it. Doesn't... Not scared that his little sister's getting in the ring. I think he's excited. He was showing me a few things the other day. No, I'm beautiful. Yeah, so, no, he's excited. Things like this can actually bond a family yeah. a bit more. Yeah, they can. I mean, not that I see my brother as not as much as I would like to because everyone's so busy. Hmm. But, yeah, he's definitely pumped. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's so great pumped. Yeah. Do you have any concerns about the night? Um, that it'll just be all over too quick? I mean, not that. I mean, I think walking out, it's just going to be a lot. Mm. Like, you know, it's like walking out. It's all of the people and whatnot. I want to make sure I take it all in. I don't want to do it, like, walk out too fast. But don't run out. No. Don't run out. I've got a lot of info to get out in between when you come through those doors and get in the ring. How long have we got? A minute. A minute. Take the full minute. Mm. It makes my life a if lot I easier. I walk out with her, like, what do I do? Like, what do you do? Tell you. Trot. Yeah. Like, how fast do I go? Like, Just stick with what? her. <laughs> have you got anything planned for the walkout? I do and don't. Um, do you want to save it for the night? Yeah. Save it for the night? Yeah. Just surprise me. Yeah. I'll be there. I'll it depends. I've got a couple of ideas, um, but it just depends. Yeah. Have you spoken to Jade about her walkout? Well, I that, that, have, but I don't spectacle? know if she's doing it or not. She said really? yes. And, well, yeah, there was something, but I hope she does. So do I. 
She talked it up to mm. me. Don't disappoint me, Jay. Yeah, I'm. I hope she does. Mm. But yeah, we've got. We've all got a couple of little things. Good. Yeah. Take your time. Yeah. Just take but your time. I think that's the bit that more because I am actually quite shy, mm. <laughs> and I know you people wouldn't think that no, when they I know me. Um, but yeah, walking out is. Yeah. Intimidating. It's, yeah, the scariest part. I think being in the ring. You know, it's like that's what I'm there for. It's a bigger ring. Is it? Oh, it's hot. Mm. Under the lights. Oh, yeah. But I know that my opponent, she's going to, you know, we're both in the same situation. Mm. And I just, I'm going to try and focus on just what's going on. Try. Mm. Um, and, you know, I just, it's not, it's not like I'm a pro boxer. No. It's not, I'm not getting paid millions of dollars. So it's, you know, it's not about winning or losing. I just want to. Go in, have fun, and yeah, showcase what I've learned. There is that fine line, though. I think for people walking out, where they all want to enjoy the walkout, but also they don't want to come across as like cocky or anything as well. Mm -hmm. You know, you want to be enjoying yourself on the way out. Yeah. But the crowd gets so fired up for you, and all the screaming and yelling. I think if you just go as you go down there, you probably the two runways are probably going to be sides are going to be lined by by your family and friends. So yeah. everyone's just happy to see. You. I think everyone's just so proud that you got in there. Yeah, I but think so. Such an achievement it is. to get in. It really is. Mm. I don't think people understand that. No, it's hard. It's hard. It's hard work. And in front of that many people for the first time. How many time, people is it? I want to add it up. How many? S- pretty sure it's about twelve thirteen hundred. That's so many people. Yeah, it's a lot of people. So many people. When you think about amateur boxers who've had ten. 10 fights mm. and still haven't been able to, to perform in front of that many people. And it's black tie as well, so it's got that real level mm. of class to it. Yeah. It's not like people in thongs and shorts, yeah. you know. Everyone's looking pretty sharp on the night. Yeah. It's a spectacle. And mm. and the hats off to Glenn and Nige for doing it. Yeah. Because the turning point came a few years ago where I'm not sure what, like when I first started going, thinking this is good. I hope this can continue, mm. and it's just got it's just got better. It is it is tr- it is an amazing event. Yeah. I think it's the biggest event at the Crown each year. Oh, really? And that's saying something. That is because an annual event. That's so good. That's madness. Absolute madness. Yeah, it's good. So you know who oh, these questions were written in week one. So just have a drink. Stay hydrated. Mm-hmm. Your mouth gets so dry. Mine. No, like ma- like. You don't actually realise, like, it's so dry in there. From talking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we've only got a little bit left. Mm. Uh, we've got your walkout music, we've got your nickname, and we've we've gone through your aftermath plans as well. Mm-hmm. Something I'll ask you. It's not on there, but I'll ask him. Your current, uh, sit, like, your current life, where you are right now, mm-hmm. are you happier now than, say, you were 12 months ago? Yeah. I'm so happy. Like, even this year... The the things that have happened this year and that I have um, the the growth that I have done, mm. so happy, so happy. Do you believe in the laws of attraction? Hundred percent. Do you? Yeah. I think Scotty McMullen's coming in on Friday or yeah. something this week, and he's really big into mm. it as well. Yeah. Explain to me that, like, what? Well, how you think that works? Um. <clears throat> well, thoughts become things, mm. right? So. If, for example, if you see a red car, if you think about a red car, you're going to see more red cars. Mm. So that's the law of attraction. But life, it's this is our reality. So right now, this is what my reality is. But if I want something else, I just need to start positively thinking about that and put a plan into action. So you can't just... Um, it's if you want something, mm. you don't have it, right? So you're never going to get it. If you manifest it, so if you say, okay, right, I am going to have a Ferrari, a red Ferrari, then you've got to think, right, okay, well, that's what I'm going to have. When are you going to have it? And how are you going to get there? And break you it know, down. So then you, you, you bring it in, yeah. Yeah, I believe in that stuff now. I yeah. was always a bit sceptical until I obviously spoken to more and more people about it, but it does make sense. Yeah. I think it's people have got a lack of, I guess, a plan. 
Yeah. It's a plan. Yeah. People just seem to coast, don't they? Well, that's the thing. It's like, you know, people can want heaps of things, but it's, well, how are you going to get there? How are you going to change? Mm. How are you going to change your life to be a better person and think differently and, you know, get those things that you want? People don't like change. Well, they say people hate two things. They hate change and they hate the way things are. So people are sort of stuck, aren't they? It's because they use that word. Hate? Oh, sorry. Oh, I shouldn't have no, dropped that now. But I uh, know, I don't. But it's that, that's the thing. It's like when they when they hate it, you're going to get more of it, you know? So easy, though, to mm. focus on negativity and yeah. pain. So much easier to feel worse, yeah. like to feel down as opposed to feel better. 100%. But you are, it is, but when you start clearing that stuff, you get more. Mm. You know, when you just when you just feel so, like, happy with your life and grateful for everything you've got, it's whether, like, if you've got that feeling inside you that you are a millionaire, like, if you feel like you're really rich, then do you really need that million dollars? It's mm. like, you know, when, does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Um because it's I mean, just stuff. Yeah, it is. And it's like, and love and the, the frequency of love and money is the same. So if you are really in love inside, everything just flows to you. Okay. Mm. And people do like to be around positive people, don't they? they? Do. And successful people. Yeah. And people always avoid that one person at the family gatherings that's just Johnny Killjoy. We all know that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. But, yeah. Sienna, give me your opinion on Jody, the million dollar baby, coming in there. Throw hands in approximately 12 days from now. 12 days. Crown, Grand Ballroom, gobsmacked, Sports Mouth Guards, major sponsor. <laughs> MVP, MVP, I got to slot this in. MVP, Link Sports Edition, Studio 22, and Counterbalance, PCR 12. How do you feel about her doing all of that? Um, probably would have never expected her to do a fight. But it's a little bit like aggressive, <laughs> but I don't know. She's working pretty hard. You're proud of her. Yeah, you gotta be. Yeah, <laughs> but um, I don't know. I'm not too big on like violence, so I don't really want to see her getting hurt. That'd be tough. That will but, be tough. Oh well, she'll win. So I like the confidence there. Yeah. I think that is going to be a, a hard thing and I think maybe you will have to prepare for it as well that seeing someone that you care about fighting is always quite can be traumatic yeah yeah but you got to realize that she is being taken care of and I've seen a cop plenty of smacks at training I've got videos I'll show you <laughs> she's not going to cop any worse than she cop yesterday. You know, so, but it's, you know, it's obviously her decision and she's happy. Yeah. And if the roles were reversed, I'm sure she would support you as well. What, like if I was fighting? Yeah. Maybe. Maybe you'll, I'll see you at PCR 25 or something. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> no, probably not. No. I don't know, not my kind of jam. <laughs> <laughs> not. not a fighter. No. no. <laughs> Thanks, Sienna. Yeah. Well, that's about it. We've cracked two hours. Thank We've had a good you. chit-chat. You've told me more about de-armoring, even though I called it de-armoring at the start there. <laughs> That's I spelt it. That's very interesting. I find all of that stuff. Mm. Oh, this, this, group, you, this group of people, well, they all do. They open my mind to a lot of new things. Mm. Don't judge anything anymore. No. I find it all very interesting, different ways. And if it can help me heal a bit, I'm, I'm all for it. It's good. Well, thank you both, thank Sienna you. and Jody. Thank you. Duo coming in uh, to have a chat today on a Monday. Wish you all the best for your last week. We haven't really got a week of training left. Yep. That's it. Wish you all the best for this last week. Hope you have a good recovery week next week. And I look forward to seeing you both. April 20, Crown Ballroom, Perth, PCR 12, Gobsmacked, Mouthguards, (laughs) major name and right sponsor. Thanks for coming in, guys. And I'll chat to you guys soon. Thank you.